Uh, pediatric cataracts are a little bit different than adult cataracts. Children can lose the ability to see in an eye when uh, the image that goes from outside the eye to the brain is obstructed. And a cataract is like a curtain that gets between what someone is looking at and the brain. And so it's very important in children to make sure the cataracts are removed as soon as they're identified if the child is very young or if the cataract is very large. If a childhood cataract is very small, typically less than two millimeters, many times they'll still develop appropriate vision. But if a child has a cataract greater than that, or if a child is losing vision, or if the cataract is complete, they won't develop appropriate visual images and the brain doesn't develop appropriately in the visual cortex to see images. So it's very, very important to take these cataracts out when the child's very young. So when children are evaluated by their pediatricians, pediatricians are looking for changes in the red reflex of the eye. Think of it as what you see when someone has red eyes after they've had pictures taken. Pediatricians and family practice doctors are looking to make sure that young children have normal red reflexes. If there's any concern, they refer those children to us. And if they have cataracts, we discuss cataract removal with their family. Uh, the difference between removal in children and adults is these children need to be asleep for the cataract removal, whereas with adults, we do most of our adults awake. Um, it's also important that in children less than two, Many of these children don't have artificial lenses placed in the eye. It's somewhat controversial, but most pediatric ophthalmologists wait until age two before placing artificial lenses. In part, this is because children develop more inflammation than adults, and so putting an artificial lens in an eye that might be at risk for more inflammation could actually cause more problems for the child.